Hi everyone, welcome to Big Tiny Dreams. Let me shake my mic again. Yep, it's still working. <laughs> um, I thought I'd, I'd say, I'm saying I thought I'd do something different. In a way, I think it's different. In a way, it's the same. I mean, I show stuff that I get, but I've never actually just shown a regular grocery haul. Um, I've seen people do that and I like watching that. So I thought, well, you know, I'll try that. So um, actually though, I have a little story as to, that's behind this grocery haul and I did the scratcher and I won ten dollars off a ten dollar ticket I held on to it for a little bit and my last day of work of this last week I thought you know what I'm going to go back real quick once we got home from work and I cashed it in and I bought another ten dollar one I thought what's you know I'm I'm not spending any extra why not well guess what I won a hundred dollars so what did I do I went grocery shopping because. Um, uh, there are several things I needed that I just, and now there's some things that weren't necessarily needs that I just like, oh, that's a good deal. So I got them. But I thought I'd share some of my favorite things and tell you the price of them. I actually lost my receipt and had them printed out again for me today because I had to take something back, uh, not take it back completely, but I bought some coffee and forgot to grind it because they have grinder there. Um, but anyway, I'll, uh, and it doesn't have the prices on here. Okay. Well, I think. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I think our here we go. The prices. First of all, I um, love to buy grass-fed beef. I was at Sam's Club earlier because I thought we'll look here first, see if there's something we want to get. And I wasn't sure. There were some things I was thinking about. I thought, you know what? Let's go to Costco first. And um, if I don't find, you know, what I want to spend on there, then we'll come back and pick up the few things that I'm thinking about here. Well, I like Sam's Club's grass-fed beef. I think it's or or the organic grass-fed beef in the uh, little pouches. And there's like four of them that you can cut off. And uh, I think they're about a pound a piece or somewhere thereabouts. But I think it's like four ninety eight a pound, which is a good, good price for grass, or especially organic grass-fed beef. But I saw these at Costco. This is now... This doesn't say anything about organic, but it's 100% grass-fed, which from what I understand, that means, um, yeah, it's 100% grass-fed. <laughs> anyway, I bought these. I think these were $22.99. But even though they're not, you know, the other things of meat, it ends up being cheaper, like 50 cents a pound cheaper. It was $4.49 a pound for this. So we love burgers and sometimes we just want to come home and make a burger and the price for that was let me see um where's the burgers oh okay yeah 22.49 which i know that's a lot but you get a lot of burgers and it's still cheaper per pound i think i pay 6.99 or thereabouts i may be it may be 5.99 but I'm thinking $6.99 or $5.99 for grass-fed beef at Walmart. So that's that's a good price. So I got that. And what my oldest daughter told me, she says, rather than buying, you know, separate packages of ground beef, which they don't necessarily do now because they went in and bought a, a cow or whatever. Um, but she's like, whenever she needed meat for something, she would thaw these out if she needed ground beef and just use the patties, crumble them up. So that's something that could be done. Uh, the other thing I got, we're always going through coffee, being that we work. I never used to be a coffee drinker because I was told I couldn't have caffeine for so many years. My heart would race and things like that as a teenager. But right before my husband uh, moved out, I smelled a cup of coffee. I'm like, oh, that just smells good. Let me taste. I said, maybe I'll try a sip and see how I do. I was all right. The next day I was like, you know, let me try half a cup of coffee, see if it makes my heart go crazy. It didn't. I was fine. So after that, I've had just a cup. And now that helps a lot because it, I can remember way back when I was a young adult going to college and all that, not being able to have a cup of coffee was very hard getting through the day. So now every morning I have at least one cup of coffee. Sometimes if I have two on an empty stomach, I'm like buzzing. I have to have some kind of food. But Oh, this stuff smells so good. This... How much should I pay for this? I think I paid fifteen ninety nine for the coffee. No, fourteen ninety nine. It's Aspen Select Gourmet Coffee Texas Pecan. 
and it smells so good. But you get, uh, how many pounds is that? I thought it said on here. It said on the sign, at least. You would think they would say on, on the package. I can't remember. I'm, <laughs> I'm spilling coffee grinds. I took it back because I forgot to grind it. It was whole beans. So if you have a coffee grinder and like grinding it yourself, you could do that. I have one, but it's a small one. And you have to grind and grind because and grind, we make a big pot of coffee. And um, so, yeah, for 14, I think it's like two and a quarter pounds. Does it say? No, it doesn't say on here. But on the sign over there, I think it was 2.25 pounds. And it smells so good. So I got that. Then this other thing, as I said, I, I spent my winnings on this. So I didn't feel so bad spending the, this kind of money. But at the same time, these are things that will last in my household a very long time. Um, I got, uh, what is this called? The um, Pura Vita Roasted Vegetables. It's four pounds of roasted vegetables for $15.99. I did a short video where I heated up some of this and had it on some rice and I had some chicken nuggets on the side. This is so delicious, I'm telling you. It has, it's vegan, gluten-free, no artificial flavors, non-GMO verified. But it's a mix of Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. I didn't realize it had Brussels sprouts. I was eating it all this time, didn't know that. <laughs> but it's, it's good. It has Brussels, a mix of Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red and yellow bell peppers, red on, and red onions tossed in extra virgin olive oil, Himalayan pink salt, and cracked black peppercorns, fire roasted to perfection. And I'm going to tell you, believe it or not, this last several months in my household and being that I do pick groceries at Walmart I tell you what if I were to buy all this separately you would spend probably a lot more or at least close to it anyway so to have this where I can just you probably could microwave it what I do is I do it in the skillet for with a lid on it for just a few minutes and then put it over some rice um, or you can have it as a side without rice so delicious and one of my other favorites, I only paid $4.99 for this, I think. Let me see. My um, organic asparagus. Yeah, it's 2.25 pounds, 36 ounces. I'm cutting off the top of my head. Let me move my table back. There we go. This is 2.25 pounds of aspar organic asparagus. Some people don't care for asparagus, but for $4.99, uh, that's a really good price. I think I've seen it for like three ninety seven a pound, so four ninety nine for two point two five pounds. And I love asparagus. What I'll do is um, with mine, I'll just uh, horse wash it, snap it, put it in a skillet, a few pieces. I'll do just I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil, some Himalayan pink salt, black pepper. And oddly enough, I'll drizzle a little lemon juice on it and I'll just put the lid on it and it kind of steams for a little bit. And it is so delicious. I love that. Okay, next thing I got, I thought this was a bargain. I'm, as I said, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm not necessarily the type that's just going to like dive in head first and cut out everything that I like and just go, you know, whatever. I want to make healthier choices as I'm able to. Um, I do use mayo occasionally. I have some canned chicken and was wanting to make some like chicken salad. But a lot of your mayo is really not good for you. Um, there's a guy I watch on YouTube. I think Flav City, Bobby Parrish, I think is his name. And I've learned a lot from watching him. But um, I would prefer healthier options. So I really want wanted to get the avocado mayo. They have right now at Costco the Chosen, which Chosen Foods brand is a really good brand. I think it was it's three dollars off. So it's like regular eight ninety nine for one of these for thirty two ounces. I got five ninety nine. Even plain old mayo, a good brand, is going to cost close to that. Maybe not quite, but. To have 100% one made with 100% pure avocado oil. 
Um, so yeah, no weird, no weird stuff in it, like soybean oil, cottonseed oil, whatever. And the ingredients, the first one is avocado oil, filtered water, egg yolks, whole eggs, distilled white vinegar, mustard, and then it shows what all's in the mustard, which is distilled vinegar, water, mustard, seed, salt, spices, salt, and then it has rosemary e extract for freshness. So I will show this. Ah, there it is. For those of you that want to see the ingredients and the nutritional information, and uh, wait, there's the ingredients right there. I'm sorry. I was showing the other nutritional information. But yeah, for $5.99, regular $8.99, guess what I did? I bought two of them. Because <laughs> I'm like, that's a good deal. Another thing, even though I'm tr I do a little low carb, I also try and do intermittent fasting. I'm not on it all the time and not always at the same time, but I try not to eat too, you know, past a certain time. So that being said, I do have carbs, especially healthier ones. And one of the things I like to do is overnight oats. And I use the whole Greek yogurt and it, when I can, when I can find it, instead of the, the low-fat, fat-free, whatever. And I add a bunch of good stuff to it, which I will probably do a video maybe this week showing you all what, um, how I make mine. I actually uh, saw someone on YouTube with their recipe, but then I went and changed everything. So I'll just show you my way of what I do. But anyway, I got this huge bag of organic, what is it? Gluten-free, uh, or USDA organic sprouted rolled oats. And from what I understand, when you have sprouted grains, they're way more healthier for you. Um, and it's uh, all ingredients from farmers we know. Now, I've gotten smaller, like little bags of this from Whole Foods and paid as much as I paid for this huge bag of five pounds. Five pounds of organic um, rolled oats. And where's my piece of paper for how much I paid for that? Um, let's see. I paid $9.99. And as I said, I've paid $9.99 for maybe one and a half, two pounds at Whole Foods. I mean, you could check. I, I don't remember exactly. You can check and see what they go for. But for five pounds, you can't beat that. So this is what I like to make my... Um, overnight oats with and I'll show you the different ones that I make maybe maybe I can get around to it this week I gotta work on my kitchen and all it's, I'm a little behind on things because I had physical therapy today and it's amazing that just the little bitty exercise things they keep adding on to it the amount of pain can be incredible um, but any of you doing it having to do physical therapy might know that already um let's see the coffee oh now I haven't tasted these yet because a lot of times we're getting ready for work and it can be crazy, hectic, trying to fix, you know, a decent breakfast before we go to work. Unless I have the sprouted oats done. Um, but this just looks really good. And one of my uh, drawbacks, or I don't know if that's a word, you, I just threw it on the floor. <laughs> I don't know if drawbacks is a word I would use for it. But one of the things I don't like about breakfast sandwiches or like that that... I find in the stores regularly, they'll say cheese, but it's American cheese. And I'm sorry, I don't consider that cheese. Now, I'm, there's a lot of people that love that. Um, my ex's father, ex-father-in-law, whatever you call it, he swears by, you know, your, to, your grilled cheese and tomato soup, you have to have American cheese. Mm -mm, not me. I like the real stuff. The sharper, the better. Now, I don't think this has sharp in it, but I read the ingredient. Blah, blah blah. I'm sorry. I read the ingredients, and it said it was made with a uh, real cheese. Um, from what I could tell, and now I know this one costs a lot, but me and her decided, okay, we're going to go in on halvesies, as we say, because we do that a lot on things, so that um, you know the day we'll each have four for the week. Uh, this is the Kirkland brand eight wrapped breakfast sandwiches. Doesn't that look good? Oh my gosh. As I said, I normally don't like them with what I call fake cheese, the American cheese. No offense to those that love it. That's perfectly fine. I just don't. Um, spiral butter croissant, applewood smoked bacon, egg and cheese made with cage free egg. Chickens were never confined to cages during raising. Now, 
I know that's not necessarily the same as um, free range, which is even better. But hey, it's better than, you know, being stuck in a cage, I guess. Um, but it has directions for air frying and all. And when I looked it up, because I'm like, I am not doing this with fake cheese. Now, I may be wrong. It doesn't say anything about processed cheese. That's usually American cheese or fake cheese. Fake cheese. <laughs> fake cheese, as I call it, uh, would normally um, say processed. This just says pasteurized blended cheddar cheese, which is cultured milk, salt, paprika, enzymes, things like you would have in normal cheese. So um, it's going to be high in fat and whatnot. But I find things a little higher in fat keep you full all day. Like I, I try to have a whole avocado a day. They're not the big ones. They're the, I guess, the Mexican ones about this little. But I tend to stay full when I have. I'll mix it with the salsa like the guacamole recipe I shared. And, yeah, I may have some chips. And I may do the chips with, the, I'll grate a little extra sharp cheddar cheese, sprinkle that on there. But I am not, I can sometimes go with just eating that in a day. And maybe a little snack because it fills you up. And the avocado is really good for you. So is the salsa, technically. Now, this, I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to cut into this so bad because we got this yesterday. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm like, no, it's not going to be for the video. If you see it cut up, it's still in the package. I even put it in the fridge with a bag over the package because there's little micro holes in it. And I didn't want to ruin the bread before we could eat it. Oh, I could just sit here and smell it all day. Uh, this is roasted garlic Parmesan bread. Now, I would not spend this amount of money for bread. But since I won a scratcher and I was, you know, it's extra money, I went ahead and bought it. Because my daughter's like, oh, mom, that'd be good. Because I was like, I don't know, should we? Oh, man, look how good that looks. Roast oh, I guess. Is that roasted garlic there? Man, if you could have smell of vision oh, my God. Now, I'm thinking. I had uh, have a lot of... Uh, the Walmart brand, they have a Walmart brand of Alaskan, I don't know if it's Alaskan, it was wild caught salmon, which is what you want to get. And it's like little pieces in the little um, vacuum sealed bags inside a bag. I have a, a few of those in my freezer that I got while they weren't too expensive, but I haven't made any in a while. So I'm like thinking I, I have um, some like Kinder seafood seasoning or something I thought might be good to put on, put it in the air fryer. And do some of these roasted vegetables and a slice of this bread. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that sound delicious? Isn't that sound? That didn't sound right. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> anyway, that's all for the food. Um, I actually went over budget. I had to spend a little bit of my own, but my daughter's paying part on that because she's like, Mom, I'm. Um, yeah. But anyway, the other stuff. This is no big deal. This is just some nitrile gloves. Uh, general purpose for automotive use. When I saw that, I was like, uh-oh, did I get the wrong ones? But it says it's safe for food handling, for indoor outdoor use, and veterinary use. But I like to keep these on hand. Um, I know I may be like, I'm not totally dermaphobic, but I'm like, I don't like touching raw meat if I don't have to. It gets up under your nails and all that, and I just don't. So, um I, I bought these, I think these were, how much, they might have been cheaper when I, I think they might be cheaper at Sam's Club. Uh, oh, it was twelve ninety nine, but I think I paid twelve ninety seven for 200 last time at Sam's Club. I have a Sam's Club membership um, that I'm able to pay like just a couple of bucks a month out of my paycheck for the executive membership. That way I get free shipping on everything and I earn cash back. And then if I use one of my apps on my browser, I earn cash back for everything I buy through there anyway. I do everything to save money, just saying. <laughs> so um, I probably should have got them at Sam's Club, but I wasn't at Sam's Club at the time. And I'm like, you know, I need some of those. I only had a few left. So for the same price, I could have got 50 more. But, you know, I, I got these. Now, this last thing. <laughs> this wasn't necessarily a need, but we got two cats in the house that I call my grandkittens, and I love them dearly, just like grandchildren to me. Um, I know that sounds silly to some, but the, these are the floppy fish, 
and these are USB charged. I don't know if, let me see, you're supposed to be able to, maybe they need charging up again. Maybe we turn them off. Let me see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How cute is that? So you don't have to put batteries in them. You, I'm cutting my head off again. You don't have to use, uh, put batteries in them. You, you charge them with a USB plug. <laughs> and it, it'll stop. And then when the cat calls at it, it'll do that again. So it was funny because we brought him home all excited for the cat to try it and play with it. And he was just so tired. He just looks at it, you know, yawns really big and then lays over on his side. And we're like, oh, well, maybe he'll play with it some other time. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I enjoy sharing. And um, as, as I, I have a vlog, so I share parts of my life. And this is this is something I did. And uh, I better probably go put these in the freezer before they start thawing anywhere. Anywhere. Everywhere. All over the table. Whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And maybe you'll see some things that... Because I know I like watching... You, I watch YouTube probably more than I watch any of my streaming channels. Which sounds nuts for... I don't know, maybe someone my age, I'm 55, by the way, will be 56 in July. And um, I don't know, I just, uh, I like watching and seeing what people get. And sometimes I'm like, ooh, I want to go get some of that. So, you know, y'all might not have known there was a deal on, uh, on the uh, avocado oil mayo and think, oh, I'm going to go get some now, which you know, I don't get anything from any, any of these. It, I'm like, they're not sponsoring me or anything. But I do like saving a buck. And I do like helping others save. And not everything was on sale. But I'm, I'll am i let y'all know how I like these breakfast, breakfast sandwiches once I try them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And you guys be blessed. Have a good day, good week, month, year. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more things to, to put up here and show you. Maybe I'll make my overnight oats. And show you some of the weird stuff I put in my, which people might think it's weird because I add a lot of stuff, but I really like it and it keeps me full for the morning and it's very healthy for the gut, which I need all the help I can get. Anyway, love you guys. Take care. Bye.